It is so modernized to be more red pill, to be like, fuck bitches, get money, fuck these hoes, ha 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 ha. It is the norm to be toxic. You look for that in a relationship, toxic relationship, or you're blue pilled, you're like, oh, the queens. That's what the people call like simps and stuff like that. Or worst case scenario, you're black pilled, where you think it doesn't matter. I heard something called sub five. I don't know what none of this is. I don't do research on none of this. But all I know is they believe in like genetics. Like you're either born or you're not. And they have s over girls. And they believe that like, yeah, basically like if you're born sub five, it means like you're under. If you're above, you have higher chance of getting girls, which is it's kind of weird, dude. You base your whole life around girls. I'm not really into these things as I already said, but from what I can grasp, that's what they basically are. The reason I say fuck them all is not because I'm gonna present you with some new pill, fucking aquatic pill. <laughs> it is because I believe you shouldn't care about these pills. You shouldn't care about red pill, blue pill, black pill. All you should focus on is self-improvement. Journaling, meditating work, and now reading those four. Also mindsets and attitudes and stuff like that, but that's all you need. You should not care about no pill or how to do this, how to do that. Because these things, they were not created by Hamza or by some self-improvement youtuber these four things have been around for generations they have stood the test of time because what they work you shouldn't care about some fucking pill all you should care about is trying to improve your life like i remember maxwell maltz was talking about this in his book psycho cybernetics i don't have it on hand and he was talking about how he popularized the term like self-image like how you view yourself and he said that it's not that I discovered something because there was already books on the matter, like subconscious mind and stuff like that. But he just pieced everything together and made a book on it and popularized the term self-image, like how you view yourself can make you more happy and stuff like that. So that goes the same with self-improvement. It's not like this is his self-improvement. This is his self-improvement. All you should worry about is in self-improvement is what? Improving yourself, all aspects of yourself. That's all you should care about. Not some little pill. See, these things were always here before. Meditation, I was like monk's time. Reading, I don't know since reading been out, but bro, reading's been out, bro. Everybody, you know, whatever. Journaling has been out since like the warriors, the Japanese warriors, really, Rohans and stuff like that. They journaled and stuff like that about their lives and working out. Well, our ancestors had their own working out, which is like chasing animals, you know? And then since we have it all easy, you could go to the store in your car. You don't have to go hunt. That's why we include things like some sort of like resistance training, like working out, whatever you love to do. Um, calisthenics, have a bar over there, pull up bar. And ask yourself, why have these things stood the test of time? Because they work. All you should care about is like I already said, self-improvement in like having the growth mindset. I might do a video on that actually, but you can research the topic. Growth mindset is like, you know, you have the ability to grow. If I want to become a pianist right now in this second, it take me time, but I could be a professional pianist. It's just like the mindset that you have. You have the ability, like there is such things as talent. You could learn any skill that you want to. That can leave you puzzled because it's like, I don't really know what I want to do. Like when I go to business or when you're trying to find your niche, but like that's a whole different topic. I'll cover that on a different video. But yeah, self-improvement just meant to improve all aspects of your life, like your relationships. You can read books on that. There's a book that I wanted to read. I don't remember the name. How to win friends. I don't remember the author of that, but that's my next book that I, I want to read. But yeah, your physical health. So like working out, what you eat in the kitchen, your nutrients, all that. Meditation, so your mental health. Gratitude journaling fulfills you and your emotions. And then last but not least, we have reading, which improves your intelligence. See, that's why I believe you shouldn't care about all these pills. All you should focus on is just improving yourself. That's all. That's literally all. Why care about some pill? I see these red pill people talking about how women ain't shit, women all they want is money, validation, attention, they don't care about nothing else, they want they, they want an alpha and stuff like that. But I'm about to get some people offended when I say this. You are what you attract. If you're a motherfucker who all you care about is pussy, you have nothing to you, that's all you care about. Maybe you have money, alright, you have a business or whatever, you have money, right? But you're a piece of shit. Guess who you're gonna attract? Pieces of shits, girls who are gold diggers, who want your money, all right? Think of a girl with high value, high standards, high, good morals, she may be religious possibly. She, she, is she gonna want a man who's, oh yeah, who sleeps with loads of men? No, she wants a man who's doing the same, who has morals, integrity, authenticity, 
on self-improvement. That's why us on self-improvement should try to focus more on girls who who have morals and have standards and have like faith, religion, all of that. That's why if, if you just focus on what your eyes see and what your dick sees, just titties and ass, guess what you're gonna find, right? Obviously you do have to be attracted to her, obviously, but her personality, all of that matters. Imagine if that's the wife, you wanna attract the best possible wife, titties and ass don't matter, right? So why the fuck choose for that? Make sure that she's nice, positive with her family. That's a good uh, green sign. She's like good with her family. Like how she treats others, you see that? Like even like behind people's backs, if you talk, like you, like you can figure out if she's high value or like lower value. Like I don't mean to like judge, but like, you know what I mean. Like You could just tell when someone's like higher or lower value. Hope I offended some of y'all and got y'all a little booty tickled. If you wanna leave your two cents on the matter, or criticize me, or criticize the point, but you have a valid point, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. And with all that said, don't be average, be limitless.